Hey guys, so for today's video, we are gonna be going to Petco. As you guys can see by the title, we are actually gonna be taking a look at Petco's Hermit Crab Enclosure. Now, I know I show you guys Hermit Crab Enclosures at Petco and PetSmart all the time in all of my different vlogs, but I never actually talk about them and give you guys my opinion on them or anything like that. So today we're gonna be looking at Petco's Hermit Crab Enclosure. And I do wanna say that this is giving no hate to Petco whatsoever. I do like Petco in general. I do shop with them a lot more than I do PetSmart. I find that Petco's pet care is typically better than PetSmart's. That's just around in my area. Your stores may be completely different. So the reason we're going to go to Petco and look at the hermit crab enclosures is because I get asked all the time to make more hermit crab videos. And the reason that I don't make tons of hermit crab videos is because I don't encourage people to own hermit crabs. Now I know that I have hermit crabs, so that confuses a lot of people. However, I've had my crabs for over nine years. So I've had them a very long time. They are older. And if they do ever pass away, I don't intend on getting any more. However, I still like to educate you guys. I still like to make videos on them from time to time. But today we're gonna go look at the Petco enclosure and I hope that you guys get an idea as to why I don't really like making a lot of hermit crab videos. Typically, these hermit crabs are being bought in deplorable conditions at the stores. They're in painted shells. They're typically not being taken care of properly. And I wanna just show you guys really the root of that. And so we're gonna go to Petco and we're gonna look at their enclosure and we're gonna break it down and see the substrate, the food, the waters, the shell options and things like that so that you guys can see how Petco and most pet stores take care of their hermit crabs versus how they actually need to be cared for as a pet in your home. So we're headed to Petco right now. A couple of quick disclaimers before we get to the pet store. I want to tell you guys that this is not bashing Petco or even PetSmart at all. Pet stores are pet stores. Unfortunately, they have generally a rule book that is a guideline book that they set up all the enclosures by. They don't typically go by, you know, care guides that we would follow personally in our homes, which is what is best for the animals. They have a very black and white approach to animals. They just go by whatever corporate tells them. And unfortunately, it's not what they actually need a lot of the times. So that's something that we're going to be seeing in their enclosures. As well as, I want to tell you guys that this video in no way, shape, or form is encouraging you to go out and get hermit crabs. In fact, this is the opposite. If you are interested in getting hermit crabs, I don't suggest buying from a store. I do suggest going online and finding ones that need homes, like on Craigslist or something. I see hermit crabs on Craigslist all the time, so that's definitely something that I would recommend if you are interested in getting hermit crab. Okay, so now we are going to head to Petco right now. We're going to look at the hermit crab enclosure, and then we will talk about it whenever we get out. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to be looking at the hermit crab enclosures. Okay, so here is the enclosure. Okay, so I just got back in the car. I showed you guys the enclosure inside of my Petco. Now, one of the first things that I noticed, obviously right off, is that compared to PetSmart, who uses sand as a substrate for their hermit crabs, my Petco actually uses a mixture of EcoEarth and sand. However, unfortunately, while it is the proper substrate, which is pretty rare for a pet store, so good job Petco. Unfortunately, it is less than an inch deep and hermit crabs do best in six inches or more. There's a whole host of reasons why this is needed. It holds moisture. They can dig, tunnel, bury, and molt. So there is a lot of reasons why hermit crabs need a really, really deep substrate. So unfortunately, Petco fails on that front. Another thing that I happen to notice is that the hermit crab shell options for them to move into as they molt and grow is unfortunately all painted shells. Now, obviously this is to be expected. This is something that makes the crabs flashy and it's used as a way to encourage kids especially to want to buy them and keep them as pets even though they typically die within the first few weeks of kids owning them. Hermit crabs, I feel, especially at pet stores, they are just one of the most neglected pet that you can get. I really don't even think they should be pets to be completely honest with you. Again, that's why I don't make a lot of videos on them. I don't talk about them a lot is because I feel like in some form that is promoting it mainly to kids who watch my videos who don't understand where they come from, how they're kept at these stores. It's in deplorable conditions. They're taken from the wild. They are 99.999% of them are wild caught, if not 100%. So that's something else that's definitely sucky and that you have to remember with hermit crabs. Another thing I did notice with the Petco enclosure, there were two water dishes. I can only assume that one is a fresh water and one is a salt water, which is what they need. However, the dishes were really, really small, pretty shallow. However, that is pretty standard for pet stores when it 
it comes to hermit crabs. As you guys know, my favorite pet store, which has all the birds, that is about an hour from me. That is my favorite pet store. Their hermit crab enclosure is always impeccable. I've showed it to you guys a few times on my channel. I think that they do an amazing job with their hermit crabs there. The substrate's deep. It's only natural shells, multiple water sources, and types of food. I wish that all pet stores did that. I wish that Petco did that. I do like Petco. I really do. I shop here for so many different things for my animals, but unfortunately they fall short with the natural shells and the depth of the substrate. Another thing you guys probably saw is the food dish. Unfortunately, they don't offer their hermit crabs vegetables or fruit with their food. They also don't offer a variety. They typically have one type of pellet. It really looked like some sort of a zoo med pellet. I'm not really sure. It could be a Jurassic diet pellet. Um, that may have been what it is, which isn't the worst there is. It just doesn't offer a lot of vitamins and minerals in the way of fruits and vegetables. I do love to give my hermit crabs a variety as you should yours too. I always give my hermit crabs a minimum of three to four things to choose from and I swap them out daily. It's just a good thing to practice with hermit crabs. They do tend to get sick of eating the same thing over and over and over. So that's definitely something I noticed that Petco doesn't do. So let's go over everything that was in the Petco enclosure that was probably not the best care. I would say the depth of the substrate, however it was the proper substrate. I would say that the food and water dishes could have been a little bit bigger, but we're not going to knock them for that because they did have two different water dishes. I believe one should have been salt, one should have been fresh, dechlorinated. They also didn't have a big variety of foods for the crabs to choose from. They just had one type of processed pellet when fresh is always better, as well as painted shells. That is another thing that I really frown upon. I also think they could have used a lot more climbing things, but obviously things to climb on isn't what's going to keep them alive. That's just something to give them to do to climb. They do love to climb. Believe it or not, it's a really big misconception that hermit crabs like to play in sand and that's all they do. Hermit crabs are actually a type of land crab, so they do enjoy a dirt or eco bedding substrate. They also enjoy things to climb on like logs and trees and things. My hermit crabs are constantly in the little canopy trees that I have in my tank. So I would have liked to see more foliage in the tank as well. I would have liked to see more things for them to climb on and stuff, but that is a pet store for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed going to Petco with me and looking at the hermit crab enclosure. The main reason I made this video is to show you guys that while I don't make a ton of hermit crab videos, I do love my hermit crabs and I enjoy making videos about them, but I don't want there to be any misconception that I make videos about them because I encourage you guys to go to places like Petco and buy them. Stores like Petco and PetSmart or at the beach or anywhere, they don't treat their hermit crabs the best. They don't give them the care that they need. They put them in toxic painted shells. They typically don't have two water sources. This particular location does, which is again, that's very good. They also don't give them a variety diet. And a lot of times you may go look at the hermit crab enclosure and you'll see dead crabs just laying in there. And it's not a molt. It's actually a dead crab. So again, it's just something that I don't support. I don't promote. And I wanted you guys to kind of see my example of why I don't. This is how they keep their crabs at stores. Honestly, even if you go to stores like this and buy the crabs, they're generally so stressed out from being taken from the wild and put into these painted shells. And by the way, they're forced into those painted shells. It's just a big mess. So I wanted to make this video to give you guys a little idea as to why I don't make a ton of hermit crab videos. It's mainly because while I love my crabs and I do love educating on them, I don't want to support this business. I don't like to support the hermit crab industry. That is something that I just thought that I would make a video about and show you guys today. Again, in no way am I hating Petco or PetSmart. They are just pet stores. It's not the individual workers' fault that the company as a whole treats their hermit crabs this way. Sadly, it's just the way that a lot of stores do and it doesn't make it right, so you don't have to support it. But okay guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about how pet stores take care of their hermit crabs versus how you should take care of your hermit crabs. Again, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot and it also helps my animals. If you do not already follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I'll put that on the screen for you. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind, bye.